You don't feel like you're training when you're climbing. Getting strong and getting fit is almost like the byproduct of climbing because you're enjoying it so much. You still get the same workout if you go to the gym or you go to the climb wall, but you've probably got a, more of a smile on your face here. It's something about people who climb that they really are a welcoming group of people. But also sometimes there is that friendly competitiveness and you're also encouraging each other. I like the problem solving, imagining my abilities and how I could climb this piece of rock. I just liked it. I just found it was the most brilliant thing ever. Varied. Good exercise. Challenging. Social. Healthy. I had major heart surgery five years ago and I was going to the gym as part of the cardiac recovery process and I started coming here and it's made a lot of difference. I've never been good at repetitious things so it gives me variety. You'd probably be a big fat slob by now if you didn't keep it the climbing, you know. I think climbing becoming an Olympic sport is an amazing opportunity. People are going to become more aware of how awesome climbing is. You can do it with your friends as well, so you can sort of play off each other and work out together what to do. There is no like a kind of judgement where you're from or how do you look like. You can have holes in your trousers and nobody will pay attention to that. To be able to see my friends and know where they're going to be joking and talking, you know, and catching up on news, it's really important. Everyone from every age and every size can try climbing and can do well at climbing. Children running around playing on plastic elephants and climbing up castles. Older people come here and they crush all the time. Been climbing roughly since I was about 14, so that's about 72 years ago. It's a sport for anyone.